wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the nine best monitors for photo and video editing. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number nine, photographers on a budget should consider the Asus ProArt PA278QV because despite the low price, it's perfectly fine for working in the sRGB color space and has a 2560 by 1440 resolution. One of the drawbacks though is its mediocre static contrast ratio. This one's suitable for well-lit rooms and has a refresh rate of 75 Hz, but its Adobe RGB coverage is poor. At number 8, the ISO ColorEdge GG319X is specifically designed for high-end video editing. It self-adjusts to eliminate the inconsistencies that can arise from changes in its temperature. It comes with 98% DCI-P3 coverage and a 4096 by 2160 IPS panel. However, it is extremely expensive. Coming in at number 7 on our list, Although it isn't the latest release, the 4K edition of the ViewSonic VP2785 is relatively affordable for a model that can display HDR10 content, spans almost the entire Adobe RGB and DCI-P3 color spaces, and offers USB-C connectivity. It also supports portrait orientation and is good for multi-monitor setups, but its factory calibration is below average. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for monitors for photo and video editing, or simply click beneath this video. At number 6, measuring 27 inches and with a 4K resolution, the Dell S2721QS is a crisp looking option with a wide viewing angle, good stand ergonomics, HDR content support and a reasonable price though its IPS panel may suffer from a little light bleeding. It boasts premium gradient handling and a very slim bezel. However, its contrast ratio is subpar. Moving up our list to number 5. The 27-inch ISO ColorEdge CS2740 offers a high pixel density and supports a host of powerful color matching applications, in addition to its industry-leading factory calibration. It can be rotated 90 degrees and features 60 watts of USB-C power delivery and a 10-bit panel depth. At number 4, the cutting-edge Asus ProArt PA27UCX-K is one of the first models with mini-LED technology that results in 576 dimming zones for this 27-inch version and double that for the 32. If you can afford the price, there's basically nothing else as advanced. It boasts quantum dot filtration, near complete coverage of the DCI-P3 color space and up to 1200 nits of brightness. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, with hardware calibration, a high panel consistency and proprietary software for matching print color, the BenQ SW321C is ideal for photographers who are willing to make the investment. 60 watt USB-C power delivery support enables it to serve as a de facto docking station. It comes with a convenient control puck and a shading hood, and is very accurate out of the box. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for monitors for photo and video editing, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, the Asus PA32UC is equipped with some cutting-edge technology, including HDR10 support with 384 local dimming zones, as well as Thunderbolt 3 connectivity, 4 axes of stand adjustment, and the rare ability of producing 1000 nits of brightness. It boasts a very wide color gamut and a 14-bit lookup table. It's ideal for post-production work. And taking the top spot on our list, in addition to a 4K resolution and Display HDR 400 certification, the screen on the Acer Concept DCM3 boasts Pantone validated 99% Adobe RGB coverage and a Delta E value of less than 2. All those premium features come in at a surprisingly reasonable cost too. It includes USB-C connectivity, a peak brightness of 400 nits and a stand that adjusts three ways. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. 
Go there now and search for monitors for photo and video editing, or simply click beneath this video.